I didn't want money because of money. I wanted money because it appeared to me that whoever had the money had control of the environment. You have been talked out of the money game and the people that you've been getting your advice from don't have any money. Money has not made me worse. Money has made me better. 25 years old, I went to a treatment center for drug addiction, okay? I come back from the treatment center, I finally quit. I needed an environment where I could quit. All the greats on this planet were addicted to something. Jesus was addicted. He's like, hey man, I'm gonna do whatever it takes. Right or wrong, okay? You gotta get addicted to something, good. All addictions are not created equal. Okay, I'm addicted to my wife. I'm addicted to my kids. I'm addicted to my purpose. I'm addicted to helping out. I'm addicted to making a difference. I'm addicted to doing whatever it takes to show and be an example of the blessings that I have. We smoked weed. I knew it was wrong the first time I did it. I knew, I knew. I, like, I, I wouldn't show anybody this. I wouldn't want my dad to see yeah. me doing this. I wouldn't want my mom to see me doing right. this. I, w I was embarrassed by it, you know? Yeah. Yeah, and I don't take advice from quitters. And the only people that say network marketing is a, is a bad thing quit. are people that quit it. And by the way, those that never started it were also quitting it. Yeah. The only reason they would know about it is they considered it for a second and then didn't do it. And yeah. now they're justified why they did it. This is the secret of the successful people. This is what I've committed my life to doing. I told my mom when I was 16 years old, one day, one day I'm going to be successful. One day. One day I'm going to be successful and one day I'm going to help a lot of people. I always say this, pay the price today so you can pay any price in the future. Pay the price now, okay? Pay the price. My buddies were traveling, seeing the world, and I didn't have any of those experiences. There's eight, 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 eight billion people on planet Earth. Look, I've been ridiculed by my peers, by customers, and by competition. I've been judged for working too much, wanting too much, being too colorful, being inappropriate, insensitive, and too out there. I'm trying to figure it out. I've been threatened, I've been sued, I've been betrayed by friends, I've been ripped off, and I've been copied. 30 years, 30 years, 18 hour days. Not, not eight hour days, not 10 hour days, not 12 hour days, 18 hour days. You have to do whatever you need to do to get bigger than life. I'm talking about you need to do the things every day. You need to do the things every day. Not think it. I didn't get rich thinking, okay? I love the book, Think and Grow Rich, because it said, hey man, think. But I've never been the smartest guy. So where I can't beat you in grades, I can beat you in work. What are you doing every day with your time? How are you spending your time? I hear people say, I don't have enough time. Every time I want something done, I look for the person that's busiest and give the task to them. Busy people make time. I hear people talk about, I, you know, I just want, I'm comfortable where I am. You're selfish, man. People that are comfortable are selfish people. You have to put your primary focus on income and literally disregard everything else. Disregard everything else. The main thing has to be, I need income. I need new connections. I need new money. I need new customers. I need new attention. I need to be uncomfortable. It's work. Every business, I have five companies now. We'll do 100 million this year. I started every one of those companies with no money. Zero money, man. Just hustle and grit and courage. I've called on people I didn't want to be with. I've done things I didn't want to do, okay? It is not about doing what you love. It's about doing whatever it takes to make your dreams a reality, to be closed and stay closed. If you're not closed on your product, if you're not buying your own product, why would you expect anybody else to? Man, 400 bucks is a lot of money. Your prospect says to you, $400, do it. Listen to me, man. You're 32 years old. You've been trying to save money for 20 years and you hadn't. Do it and do it now. I don't need anything special here. I'm not going to be empathetic. Quit being stupid. Write the check. You need to get so much success that other people are envious. Other people hate you for it. Other people criticize you for it. Other people judge you because of it. Your success, your success needs to become real. So you guys, when you're talking to recruit, dress well. You need to dress well. You need to be the example. Be willing to confront people. 
There's 8 billion prospects on this planet. Be willing to confront them. You know, be willing to say, dude, what are you doing? You're 30 years old. Okay? You've been at the same job for 12 years. You don't have any money. You're, you're talking to me about network marketing. I'm talking to you about your damn life. Some of you in the room, they're like, hey, I can see you at 4 o'clock on Tuesday, right? And, and the customer says to you, I'll, I'll see you at 4 o'clock on Tuesday. Too. Let me look at my calendar. Like, like you're so busy. Dude, that is so old. That is so old. And it's dishonest. It's dishonest, man. You want to see me Tuesday, 4 o'clock? I give you Tuesday at 4 o'clock. Agree to it. Done. Every disappointment you've had in your life, every disappointment you've had in your life, every one of them is the result of you not making a sale. It's the result of you not accomplishing some task. You were a little kid and you wanted candy. Hey, Mama, I want some candy. Mama said what? We don't have time. And the little kid locks that in. You got your parents telling you to be reasonable, not have high expectations. Set reasonable goals. You got managers in companies telling people that's unachievable. To think smaller. Just hit your little, little baby targets. You got broke people telling you that money won't make you happy. How many heard that before? Every time you ever hear that, understand you're talking to somebody that is broke. For most of you that, that have ever struggled in your life, I come from a lot of struggle, okay? In, in uh, 1983, I was living in that little joint right there. It was 200, rent was $275 a month. Uh, I lived in one half of it. I was beat within 76 stitches in my head and face. I was beat within, I don't know, inches of my life. In 1983, I started to turn my whole life around. I was broke at that time. I was 25 years of age. This was 35 years ago, I'm 60 years old. It seems like, it seems like this was just like yesterday. And time's quite passing. How many of you are like, ah, I can't believe I'm this old, or this age, or that age, right? Or 25, I remember when I was 25, I can't believe I'm 25, I'm an old man. I was literally bankrupt in every way a person could be bankrupt. Spiritually, mentally, physically, I weighed 138 pounds. I weighed maybe 170, so it's about 32 pounds less than I weigh right now. I was sick, I was a mess. I know this, if you want things to change, they can change. And they're not going to change just because you pray, just because you wish, just because you hope. And they won't change just because your family wants it to change. It did not change until, until I started getting information. And if you're taking notes today, it didn't start changing until I started getting rid of information. One of the most important things that happened to me in my life was to get rid of information. A man told me once, he's like, hey, look, man, if things aren't going well, somebody or something is causing it not to go well. How many agree with that statement? Okay. Things aren't going well, something or someone is causing things not to go well. Okay. And before you guys take on the Republicans or the Democrats or the conspiracy, he said, Grant, before you take on other people, why don't you just take on these 24 inches right here, bud? Okay, before you take on changing the whole world, why don't you handle light between your shoulders? Because you got your hands full. You know, this now I know why people didn't really reach out to help me when I was a kid and I wanted to be successful. And I wondered, why does nobody, why are the successful people, why don't you ever hear about them? Why don't they ever talk about what they're doing, where they're going, their trips, where they live? Like, you know. They hide, they get successful and then they hide. And the reason why is because they start getting people hating on them and hating on success and resenting them and envious of them. And they finally say, you know what? I'm just gonna pull the curtains and nobody's gonna see how I live my life, how I got where I'm at, what I'm doing, you know, how I'm operating, how much money I give away to charity. You don't end up knowing anything except, oh man, that guy, he's off on a boating trip. Rich people do not say money doesn't make you happy. You need big dreams, folks, okay? You need big dreams, and they start mon with monetary, okay? They start with money. This is something you can measure. You don't need therapy. You need to take action, okay? You will get well, but you won't get well in a chair. You're gonna get well on the battlefield. You gotta go out into the marketplace, man. The healing is in the doing. It's not in the thinking. It's been 30 years. 30 years. It's probably going to be 30 years for you too. Doubt, uncertainty, insecurities. 
rejection, disappointment, judgment. It's going to be 30 years of it. Are you, are you willing to pay the price? If anybody thinks you're going to be successful without paying that price, you're wrong.